Hello, this is Pastor Steve, and this is my midweek devotional. I'm recording this on July the 29th, 2020. I miss communion. I miss communion. Do you miss communion? During this time of pandemic, it's one of the things I miss the most. Now, there are many things that I miss, uh, uh, but I say that I miss communion the most, not just because I recently finished my doctoral work on reclaiming the distinctiveness of Wesley's communion spirituality for times of divisiveness. Uh, it's also because, it well, it nourishes our life together as a congregation. I believe it frees our spirits, but it also uh, does something in our community together. It's certainly not the only important thing that we do as a church, but it is the prism through which we see the beautiful colors of our life and our love together. It was the gift that Christ gave us for just exactly that. I miss communion because this Sunday is First Sunday, and we're live stream only in our worship right now because of the pandemic. I want to show you something in my office that gave me an idea. In my study, I have this communion set. It belonged to my grandfather, who was a pastor, uh, Reverend C.P. or Charlie Hamby. Uh, I never met him. He died some 15 years before I was born. But you'll notice this is a beautiful wooden communion set that he used. Uh, it has little uh, individually uh, uh, sized um, communion cups made of glass, but there's also this ridge around the edge where you can place uh, wafers. And this stays in my office, and it reminds me that even though I never met Grandpa, I'm connected to him in a special way as a Christian because he went before me as one of the communion of saints. And when I commune, I'm communing with Christ, but I'm also communing with him and with others in the world. And it occurred to me that I can take uh, that communion set and place these little uh, pre-packaged communion juice cups uh, like this and take these little communion wafers uh, they happen to be non-gluten uh, and, 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 and very good for those who have any kind of food allergies, but uh, place these around the edge of the communion set and serve in a safe manner during this pandemic. So this Sunday is first Sunday of the month, and here's what I feel led to do. After our morning uh, live stream worship at 9 o'clock, which of course everybody's invited to be a part of, uh, after that, I'm going to head down to the portico behind the church building here at Jacksonville First United Methodist Church. And I'm going to get on Facebook Live and bless the communion elements uh, with the great thanksgiving. And then invite anybody who wants to come. As you know, it's not just for our church members. Anybody who wants to come is invited to this table. It's a table of grace. So I'm going to invite anybody who wants to come drive through. Uh, I'll be masked. I'll sanitize the, the, the edges here as the wafers disappear uh, and they are refilled. Uh, but I will uh, fill this with the pre-filled communion cups, have the wafers in separate places here, and I will serve drive through communion uh, to anybody who wants to come this Sunday, the first Sunday of August, uh, between 10 and 11 o'clock after the morning worship experience online. And I hope that you'll come and be a part of that, because I miss communion, and I know you do too. Now, it's not as wonderful as having the, our normal custom of being in the sanctuary together and have the wonderful fresh-baked bread that I can't wait to taste, uh, but it's something we can do uh, to nurture our life together. You know, scripture says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, these words that, that Paul writes, for I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. I miss communion because it's such an important part 
of our life together. And it affects everything that we do uh, in God's church and in our Christian lives. I hope you'll come and join me this Sunday. And if you uh, live far away or, or are not able to come, I uh, hope you join us in spirit. Uh, because the communion table is a mystical and wonderful thing that connects us. Even if we're forced to be online only and find new and different ways to do things right now. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, through the gift of your table, you did give us a prism through which we see the many wonderful colors of our life and our love together. And so we pray that you be with us uh, this coming Sunday as we share communion in a different way, uh, but yet still in a faithful way. We ask that you be with us this day and prepare our hearts in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I hope you have a great week. Bless you in Jesus' name.